Good morning, everybody, and it's hump day again. She's still not feeling right. She's very sore. Like if I go to pick her up to put her on the floor, she screams. So I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna go, go for a walk. And then and Mateo didn't come down, so his loss. Kinda wanna wait, see if he hears us go out and wants to go, but oh well, his loss. Alrighty, it is early. It's like 6.15. I actually been waking up on my own at 5.30. So, too bad. I mean, trying to get in bed too, on as well. Last couple of nights, been the couch. Been so tired that literally I'm out. Boom, instantly. I woke up, I used the restroom. Last night, I did change the roads a little bit here. Um, I took them off that wireless go minus 12. They're now on a minus six. I, I'm having a hard time getting exact volume. So I made a little change, so. All right, princess, I know. You probably need to do something by now. Normally she pulls me over, over by that tree. <laughs> so, I'm not shocked. Oh, my goodness. I feel mm, stuffy, but I feel like I could sleep longer. But I want to get in early and try to get this women's mod done. It's just driving me nuts. I don't want to have it still sitting there while I'm not there tomorrow and uh, have to worry about it. So I'm uh, going to try to get in there by 7 because it's 617 now. Shouldn't have a big problem getting in early. Um, two hours without any people. I, sh I have my labels basically ready to go. I have sections 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 to do. And with my system it, it goes really fast now we're getting to that section where we're going to start removing stuff and some new brands come out which i can scan that throughout the day just i got to get the racks and stuff the label switched over and the racks you know ready so i was mentioning yesterday we had safety and sport glasses and elastic sport goggles I'm not really sure why it's two different sections. I don't know if one's supposed to be kids, one's supposed to be adult. But I think I'm going to do like I did with the men's wall. I wrapped it into the women's wall. had no choice because we don't have enough spaces. I know this probably makes no sense. I'll try to show you. could get myself in a lot of trouble, but I'll give you a general idea of what I'm talking about. Um, but I think I'm going to do the same thing with the safety and sport and move sunglasses over and call it a day. Let's think, I think that's how I'm going to handle it, because I uh, need, uh, need the space, and, and I want to keep things like items together. You know, men's needed to all stay in order. They literally bounced it, so you figure you're coming down this wall for men's. We're three spaces short, so it's three on this wall. And then they put safety glasses before women's, and it's like, that's not to me it just didn't make sense so I made changes and I'm going to uh, continue making some more changes to make everything go together so that's that's my concept at least <laughs> I gotta be attentive here we're in bunny country I still have not gotten through all of the uh, blink cameras footage every day I go in and there's another like hundred or more today or tomorrow is mowing day and with the rain we've had they'll probably be back so they'll run by the cameras a gazillion times at 100 mile an hour with the lawnmower I'm not sure exactly how they think it's cutting grass well and I gotta trim my try to trim our little cove down at the bottom there this weekend maybe when I'm off tomorrow if the weather's somewhat decent because it's uh it's nice out this morning it's I want to say it's like slightly brisk but I, and I mean that in the most slightly. <laughs> Even look at the temperature. 
And I can't see anything right now, so it looks like it's going to 90 today. Oh, goody. That'd be great. I don't know if this one is upset from the heat. Something she ate on the trip. Don't know what her deal is. And uh, I'm going to try to give her her dinner this morning for breakfast and see what happens. She might stick her nose up again. Eventually she'll get hungry enough. Yeah. All right, come on, princess, let's cross. She goes, I'm all alone, Dad. Where's my brother? <laughs> Pretty good that I'm getting her out on her own little walk, though. Come on, I don't know when someone might start coming down to go to work. Come on, you got to mope across the street a little faster. She just loves to park herself right in the middle of the road. Yeah. What are you thinking? some clouds out there it's crazy because they look out the mountain it's probably from the temperature difference over the river right a little foggy this morning I don't don't really know the status of the Canadian fires I haven't heard a whole lot more about it so boy this rain we've gotten has definitely brought the uh, the grass back to a nice green color and it's kind of like filling in a little bit Starting to get a little rough there for a while. I don't know, it's not very tall though. They might not come back tomorrow to mow. Well, it doesn't look like they need to. It really doesn't matter to me. I do. I haven't done inside the pen or down below since that one time. So I've been kind of letting it go a couple weeks. So, didn't need it. It's not growing, there's no point in cutting it. But I like having that lower section. Just to me, it looks more up kept up. <laughs> kind of like I was showing you that yard yesterday at that other house. It's like, I don't understand why. But it's not mine to understand, I guess. So, oh yeah. Um, let's see, anything else going on? So far, so good. The magnet here has uh, definitely been a nice find. Uh, trying to look for any other type of adapter to maybe turn this into something similar to the uh the dji don't be eating anything priya priya don't be eating anything baby you don't feel good don't be eating don't be eating garbage that ain't gonna help your belly and she wasn't eating grass yesterday so i think she might be hopefully she's sniffing out a, in a poopy spot Yeah, I was trying to find like a little adapter that would maybe plug in somehow more direct, but no such thing. Like I said yesterday, the uh, small rig cage, just it's just too much weight um, for the to hook it in the car that way. I do have the other road uh, dual mount that I tried to hook up in the car because I have so much stuff from shift cam with the snap grip that came and I devised that whole system and I took it down and honestly I'd have to find the pieces now and then I could actually just hook the microphones on that and just plug them in for the car I just uh probably not gonna happen this morning because I want to get to work and get that finished up so day off tomorrow get all that stuff put back together maybe um we'll, tr we'll give it a try at least I have then I'd have to you know the option to plug in maybe even put the other receiver that's still sitting there and drying in super glue for like two weeks now i never bothered sending it back in it's like because then i got the dji's i was like why bother something else i was contemplating yesterday on my way home so there's the joby ball head i keep talking about <clears throat> the quick release this came off of these units were it was off the 3k units um, obviously I'm putting it on this nice rubber grip tripod. So far it has been staying tight. Gives me a nice handle. I haven't bothered putting the Joby remotes back on. Because honestly, with the shift cam I can reach up and grab it. And to lock it. And yeah, you're back on handle. But I can take it off and put it in my pocket. Because it's a little big to put in my back pocket with it on. I can do it. But then there's the strap on it that uh, kind of whaps me in the back of the leg and it's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So, but I was actually thinking about maybe direct mounting to the to the car because it keeps pulling it off. I'm gonna have to probably redo that whole thing tomorrow as well. I don't know. I did have one, I have T-Rex tape. Both of them were listed for high heat and, and extreme cold, but the, uh, the one I used is not working well at all. I hate to put another layer in because it's actually getting so it made it this much higher with all the tape I put on it, and I'm starting to hit the windshield now with the phone. So I don't know where I go from here with it, but I thought about mounting a little bit different. Um, take the ball head off and the quick release and just screw the MagSafe adapter right in. It'll bring me down, you see kind of how tall that is. Bring me down quite a bit, which could in turn be good and bad because I'm a little too high when I'm filming me, but then I'll be too low when I'm filming time lapses. So yeah, not really sure if I want to do that or not. <laughs> Under the bridges I go. Under the bridges I go. <laughs> Sleep my web. All right, refilming. I was on 2X, 3X, whatever. Yeah, so this might look familiar. We actually stopped back at home and walk by. Mateo didn't come out, so Mateo doesn't get a walk today. Don't have time, so his loss. You can get one later when I get home, which it's, I'm going to get out of there at 1230 today when my other associate comes in. I'm going to make my way while the other one goes to lunch, so she should be okay for a half hour. She'll have to be because I'm going to have overtime this week. Probably, you know, I'll hear something about it be like, hey, it's mod set week. Need to get it done. The way I've been doing it, two more hours, I should have no problem getting it done. Come on, Priya, leave them alone. Come on, leave the, leave the big labbies alone, puppy poop. Come on, big ears, it's okay. You used to be nice to them. You used to be. How did that happen? Now you don't like any dogs, you don't like any people. You're just a ferocious basset hound. I don't think that might be rain moving in. That has gotten way thicker since we looked last. Huh. All right. Well, nope. I don't know if Mateo is going to be up. I will take him if he's downstairs. If he's not, then he's lost a walk. Yeah, Priya. What you doing, puppy? Where'd you go, girl? She did do some business. Uh, she looks like she feels a little bit, a little bit happier now. She's I'm getting close to home a second time. I want to eat. <laughs> I think she's hungry. She should be. I mean. Give up dinner last night. Normally it's breakfast, but we'll see. Like I said though, when I picked her up, she was very sore. She very, she kind of like yelped a lot. And I didn't do anything mean to her. I just picked her up gently. Oh, Priya is not happy right now. Terry's not downstairs and I don't want to leave her in the house. And little man was finally sitting in the window. Here we go again. Come on, Priya. She's like, why? Yay! She's hungry for breakfast after two and a half laps. This dog went for quite the walk this morning. <laughs> oh man, he's always hungry. He was ready. Yeah, all right. everybody good afternoon I don't know if I'm filming in the wrong direction though here um, hmm. apparently the Google Pixel does not switch orientation and that is what we are currently playing with Google Pixel Pro right now 4k 30 I don't see HDR or any of that and we're finally getting over to the park here decided to go to Canfield been over here in a while it was just closer oh thanks Mateo and we got some issues already with the shift cam with this. All right, so it's a little bit strange that it doesn't rotate. I don't see any type of the way to uh, make that happen. Unless rotation is off, I don't know. Hopefully this thing is shooting in freaking landscape right now. That would really piss me off. 
But uh, the, the other problem is the volume control is so far down on the side of this thing that uh, I have to pull the phone almost three quarters of the way out of the shift cam to make this work. So that is a big issue with it already from the get-go because every time I put it in my pocket, it's going to slide all the way back in. Well, let's just take a look and see. One of our favorite spots with all the trees that are all angled. We're not going to take the big loop. Kind of wasted too much time at Xfinity. Kind of curious on how the color profiling is going to come out on this. And I don't think this thing shoots in HDR. I'm going to kind of take a look around this camera a little bit more. So this is an initial test. And we'll see a little more tomorrow whether or not it's worthwhile as a backup camera. Okay, so you got 2x. You got 5x. Which is, hey, actually pretty close. That's, that's uh, yeah, kind of curious on stabilization in that. Now there is a little stabilization button there. I don't think it works in that, and I'm not sure where it's on. Not sure. Okay, let's get moving, guys. Come on. Okay, another Android device that restricts you when you go to an active stabilization. So we shall see. It gives you 1x and 2. You lose 5x and you lose 0.6. You gotta love it. You really do. <laughs> Not sure how much it's needed though. Let me try one step down. All right, so this gives you 2x and 5. This is locked mode. I guess standard it is, so if you go to cinema, you lose audio. <laughs> oh, Google, what the hell are you doing? Ah, yeah. This footage better look like freaking amazing. So, real quick, I got on the weather because it looked like it was going to rain. That is not the case. Rain is not in the forecast. But we are back into a uh, air quality warning. When we get to the other side, we'll be kind of see through the mountain there a little bit. See how that's really, let me get my finger here, right in here. See how gray, hazy that is? Yeah, that is smoke again. So, doing Priya. What you doing? Looking for a place to go potties? She's been a little bit uh, off today again, uh, gulping and whatnot. So she's feeling, she's a little more active. She was definitely hungry this morning. She ate her breakfast and she ate her eggs. So that's good news. Oh, I gotta get that video for you, Mateo. So with the new intro, I am actually, it's kind of prompted me to start going back. I actually watched day one for the first time in years. And I think, well, day two was the trip to the beach. I wanted to see the boat ride again. But I'm kind of thinking about trying to put a couple highlights together over the nine years, trying to find some special events to build an intro for July 1st. So here's to hoping. I got tonight and tomorrow, so plus I got to edit this video. But I got a couple videos already downloaded and uh, we're going to see what happens. Hopefully I can get a, a nice little intro put together for the year 10 day. And uh, on and off sporadically, I might go through it, but I just kind of want to put something together for for that year myself. Because if you didn't know this, there's a lot of videos. <laughs> One thing I don't see, okay, there is a little click sound, which is kind of nice. I like that. I don't know where my volume is set at right now. I think it's, it was full blast, but I think it might be turned down right now from that volume control. Um, I don't remember what I was going about to say. Yeah, we're getting to our one spot with this famous tree. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay, so we didn't auto rotate was off. Hopefully the footage is in the correct format though. That's my biggest concern. 
course I have to bring them down here. Come here guys. Let me get my shot of the river. Gotta get my shot of the river. Try not to fall in because I don't have the best of shoes on today. Yeah, there's a good shot of the smoke. <clears throat> Alright, we did test the whatchamacallit. Oops. So that's 4.8 and you can get out to, it looks like 20. Yep, 20 times in. It's a little harder to hold still. And it's having a little struggle in the smoke to focus on the water tower. Trying to make it focus. There we go. So how does 20x look on this bad boy? Didn't hear it that time. I definitely got to look at the volume on this thing, but nonetheless. Um, so it doesn't have a way, it seems, to save the mode you were in. I got to look at that. I mean, right now I'm just kind of shooting right off the hip. I mean, literally just came out of the box, came from the store. Set it up on the, uh, the roads and the uh, shift cam. Had really no experience with Google phones ever before. Obviously, I've dealt with Android plenty of time. Samsung and Sony. So, we shall see. I'm curious. Um, but, give this guy a try. Just basically, I'm looking for a nice, right now, a nice backup. Um, or maybe even something to kind of take some of the workload off the iPhone, because I feel like over a full year, I'm, you know, constantly erasing and stuff. And i got to reset the phone, and I need to do that again, because it is back down to 79 minutes, which isn't too bad. So, the only downside with, it is Android. So if I want to use the Flow or the uh, DJI Osmo 6, I need to force the app on there. So, I don't know. Obviously, I'm kind of waiting on the 15 and hoping that they do a periscope zoom. Because then all these Android phones can just go away. 15 will be the prime camera, 14 will be the backup, unless I can somehow figure a way to get a second 15. Um, and go from there. But anyway. All right, let's enjoy the rest of this beautiful walk and then get home. Grilled cheese sandwiches, tomato soup, and she's making pasta salad, I think. So, we have already been gone too long. <laughs> Didn't mean to make it this long. Honestly, you might be exaggerating the green a little bit, at least on the screen. I didn't play with any of those settings yet either. So, we'll see. It seems like it's holding pretty stable. I know the early pixels had some stabilization issues, but this one, I mean, I'm walking along and it's bouncing and it's not jittering the screen at all. I'm not going over there, Priya. Come on, I'm not going down. Ooh. Okay, Priya, you win. <laughs> I'm not going down there, though. Priya, stay. Stay, stay, stay. We don't have really a lot of time. Check this out next time we come over when we have more time. Come on, button. Come on, baby. Come on, guys. I don't know if we're going to take that little extra or we're just going to stay on the path here. Like I said, we are running quite a bit later than I planned on. Uh, this thing its first official test. This whole thing with the uh, volume keys, though. Now, I was not able to get a case yet. They had one case mate case for like $45. It was clear. And... I think Google has a lot nicer cases for them, kind of matching ones. They have the black. I really was hoping they'd have the hazel. They didn't. So, and it is warming up quite a bit. But just coming out of the box and getting fired up and getting pushed to the limits like this 4K footage. <laughs> what do you expect? Ooh, I thought I saw the raindrop. Ooh. And you do see some blue sky and sun. We shall see if it over-exaggerates this blue sky like... Mr. Samsung, I'm going to say it's a little brighter blue than what it really is. And shadows going in and out of the sunlight. You know what? Let's do this. I mean, it's not the best test in the world, but we are in kind of shadow right now. Happens when we go into bright sunlight. Because this is usually where I see the Samsung and the Sony have major issues keeping up with me. And then we'll get back over in the shadows. See if I turn like completely dark. <laughs> like I said, I don't think this thing shoots HDR footage though. Which is kind of crazy considering they're bragging about their great camera. So, alright. 
Let me get into some extreme shade here. Back under the trees. I like having this handle on here. So far, it's been holding tight. This one works a lot better than the other one. Way better made. Turn it. Oh, ooh, that is louder now. Yay, I like that. It's like a nice little click. Yeah, turn the volumes up and change the display over to full resolution. Uh, I don't know. I mean, with it being a little smoky out, this tree over here is actually quite accurate. Ooh, put it out of focus. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see if colors are washed out in trees. That looks good there. When you look out in the distance, and you zoom out. How does the camera keep... Yeah, boy, that 5X takes a second to focus. Really does. But I see the tree, I see the leaves. Especially the ones all the way out here. I see them pretty good. Okay. Alright, I'm curious. Does this 4K60 hold up? Also, I don't see an auto frame rate on the Google. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Certain little little things you see even on Samsungs and Sony's that I'm not seeing on what is considered a flagship camera phone. But, wow, that is stable though. Holy crap! Obviously, with me walking, I am bouncing, and that is staying like just super steady. Holy buckets! Right, I want to get a picture of this for Mike, and then it's the car. HDR. I don't think the camera was updated when I first got it because it said there was an update for it. Um, now HDR is running. Uh, so I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, it actually importing to the Mac photos though is still giving me a little bit of a weird thing. Uh, not all the photos I took were usable. I don't understand what's going on there. It looks like raw makes everything super dark. Play with it again tomorrow. I did order a case for Amazon that's MagSafe. Um, that way I can return it if I have to. But uh, I'd say first day of testing wasn't too bad. The only other issue I'm going to say is about it fitting the shift cam right with the volume keys. So work on that. Uh, real quick here. Princess has been literally just in the crate all night. I still I don't know. It's concerning. So. I hope she's okay. She doesn't seem to be really lethargic or anything. She just went in her crate. She was open and she went in. So, all right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in a few short hours because it's like almost two o'clock in the morning. I took a nap, woke up, edited. It's like, you know what? I'm going to say goodnight, give a couple little things about it. I mean, I think overall it looked pretty good. We'll see what HDR does now when I import this. And it does work with. The freaking final cut. Damn Samsung. Wherever it is. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Good night. See you in the morning.